used chalk couture for a long time. I know. I'm in, um, next week inside my painting group, I'm making a sugar egg on wood. Make it look like it's got a diagram. And the week after, I'm going to make this guy into a big door hanger. J just his head. Nothing else on it. Let's see if I can this finished up. And when we were up there, we we did get one day to go and look instead of being tied up talking um, the whole time. It, it was an amazing experience. I learned a lot. We went to a place called the Christmas Mouse. And I was looking for a Highland Cow ornament. And she said that they had gotten a box of them in before or right after Christmas and they were already gone. So she called their additional store at the mall three miles down the road. And she says, I got one left. So we drove all the way down there. All the way down there is only three miles, but still. Um, and then I get there and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't sell it to you because it was glass and it had a hole in it. So I couldn't buy it. And I told her about my obsession and how I was painting them. And she's like, yeah, I will buy some of those from you. So when I go back, because this mastermind's a three-part series, and I'll be back in May and November, and she, because, you know, I have them printed on wood, and she wants to buy some of my Highland Cow ornaments. So that was a, that was a really good thing that happened. And she was like, she knows that Highland Cows are going to be popular this year. She already knew that from the sale of the things they had. Marilyn, I know, we just don't get time. From the time we get there, it's like from nine to five, hammering out all these zapiers and automations and funnels and segments and groups and, oh my gosh, I still got a bunch of paperwork over there to do. So they only let us out, well, they didn't let us out, but we got out one afternoon and tried to hurry around and do as much as possible. But yeah, it was pretty chilly. We only had one really nice day out there. So I'm sure May will be better. an eye in there somewhere. Actually, we he took us out to eat a couple times and that one day that that was all I got out the whole time. Right.
Oh, he's looking good. Yay, yay, yay. I wish I had time to just sit and paint these all day long. Kind of like when I had the obsession with the gnomes. Although gnomes were very popular out there too, there were a lot of gnomes in that store. So I don't think gnomes are going away anytime soon. I know, it just takes a little bit of, I mean, just a little bit of paint. Doesn't take much. If I don't watch it, he'll turn into my hippie girl here really quick. But I do like the hippie girls. In fact, that's the one the lady liked the most. It's my favorite too, actually. I mean, they're not hard to paint. And it's odd because no matter, no matter how many times you paint them, they're always going to look different. Put it down just a little bit. Ah, oh, thanks, Robin. Hi, Judy, how are you? Okay, while that dries up, actually, you put a little bit more brown right in here. Just when you think he's done, I'm going to add a little bit more. I love adding all the extra layers, and he looked just fine the way he was. I just want to add in a little bit more. I want this one kind of really hairy. Let's let that dry, and then we'll do another layer of a lighter color. All right, so this is my stencil. I really have no clue how to use these. Um, I need some scissors. Hi, Roseanne. So I made friends with a lady, um, actually she's only 32, while I was there, and her uh, page name is Spoiled by Brie, and at 32, she has hit the million dollar in sales with 
Chuck Tour. Amazing. Um, at marketing. Amazing. Oops. Is it bad that I'm in to read the instructions? I haven't done this in so long. Actually, here's she gave me one of her little kits. I'd already joined uh, back in December with somebody else, but it's spoiled by Brie. If you want somebody who knows her chalk tour, it's her. Um, And I don't know where my squeegees are from a hundred years ago, but and I was surprised that the other day I got an email from Chuck Tour. I haven't done anything with them yet. Not looked at one of their emails or whatever. And I got an email that said we need your payment information. We have $15 and some cents to send to you. And I'm like, $15? I haven't sold or nobody knows I'm even doing it. But a lady here in my town, can we do this? She bought some stuff and put me down. I guess you can look up and see the different people in your area. Wash clean, let dry. Gently smooth a thin layer of paste over the design elements of the transfer. All right. And so why I really signed up with this company is, I, I mean, you can get stencils anywhere, but a friend of mine who sells on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace, if you guys know Dogwood Lanes, Leslie, she uses it. And so when she does a teapot or something, she just uses their stencils. And they really look cute. They cut down on the time that you spend painting. And I mean, I, I love to hand letter, so. But if you wanted to make a lot of product, get it done fast. And it looks nice every time. When I did it years ago, it's when their truck was really popular. I think I sold one truck on their frame that came with it. I sold one great big window with that rooster. And I could, couldn't could sell hardly anything, but that was back in our craft show days and everybody had Chuck Tour stuff. So it, it was a hard sell. But to add to things like this, where most of them are just you know, this is just a normal two-tone sign for most people. And what's nice about it is I could add anything to the top. I could paint a chicken, I could paint a gnome, and then mine are different. But, you know, I can't hand letter and make it look like this. So it would take me forever. I'm as anxious as you are to see the end result. Okay. Now the thing is I haven't finished my cow and then my hands can get in this. Oh, 
It's coming. Uh oh. Ah. It's pulling my paint up. Oh no. You know what? I think I should have sealed my wood first because this is just a cardboard round that I got at Dollar Tree. Yeah. And maybe I should have sealed it with a clear spray. But I can cover it right back up. Isn't that cute? I love that. I might get into selling Shark Tour again. Well, I guess I am. Let's But doesn't that look so much better than just the, you know, just the wording? Of course, I don't have the cow finish, so you can't really tell, but pretty sure it's going to turn out. Now, when I actually make them, I just use this uh, cardboard board wood to test it because I've never done it for so long. But if I made these to sell, I would definitely use regular wood. You can see my pencil line on there. Oh, that's a cute sign for no longer than it took me. I got to find some stuff that... You know, when I start painting, my problem is I keep painting and I don't stop and I just add more and more detail. And sometimes you just need simple things. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, let me dry that up and then we'll finish the cow. He's about done. I could whip these out pretty quick, actually. Um, oh, well, Shana, thank you. I did not know that. And I do have some clear wax. Okay, that's what she used. I couldn't remember. She told me some kind of paint that she used. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, when I was painting that cow, it it was a... Um, you're a chalk tour person too, Kathy? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that deep fuzz in your stencil. Janet, where have you been? I didn't see you on the Zoom tonight. In fact, earlier tonight, I thought I needed to message you and find out where you were. Figured you were mad at me or something. <laughs> oh. um, it was a rake brush that I used to separate those hairs. Finish him and have it done. I need a lighter brown though. And then sanding around the edges. Shoot. I was going to say he needs a cow tag on his ear, but I don't think I have enough room. All right. I want that color. So I'm going to have to mix a couple of colors here. I 
think that could this could have been up a little bit further, but Folk art paint is pretty thick. Okay, now he's ready for one more coat. Well, maybe two. Um, so I am selling at six o'clock on Saturday night over on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. And if Marianne can drop the link, tomorrow I'll have a couple of things up on the auction. I'm going to try to schedule them tomorrow because otherwise I will wait till two hours before the auction ends to get mine put on there. Janet, I'm getting good with the comb brush. The one before was a rake. This is a comb. And if I keep going, I'm going to have another hippie girl on my hands, so I got to stop, but it is cute. I could sit here all day and just paint cows. is right up there. Maybe one day I'll just do a come on and paint cows for 12 hours. That would make me happy. Because they each have their own little person. I should sit here and name them while I'm doing them. Like the 80s rock stars like that one turned out. Isn't he so cute? I love him. I, I even... Sometimes I wonder if my stuff's good, but this one's really good. I like this. Better stop because he's going to start looking like a girl. Oh, I love it. So see how much time that... Too bad they didn't have a Highland Cow stencil, huh, for you to follow. Um, yeah, so the lines are a lot finer. Oh, you know what? I do want, hold on. I do want just a little bit of white, just plain white. And Liz, Elizabeth and I did not even have time to paint. When she did her project, I helped her set up and then I went to bed. It was, I took more naps than ever when I was out there. So we never did get a paint 
chance to paint. We just sat and talked the whole time. Get my brush right. Ah, not getting enough white here. Hold on. I should just set and make these for my sale on Saturday night. I think I could sell quite a few of these. Okay, let's kind of dirty up that nose thing there a little bit. Oh, he's pretty darn cute. I'm in love with him. So, Kathy, that was the comb brush. Um, they are still over there on the Zoom call. <laughs> so you can still go over there and join it. I told them they were shut off at 9 o'clock, but I don't think they're listening to me. So, But... They can go as long as they want. I'm in do my other rabbit here in a minute and been here all day, so I'm ready to go home. I guess I do have my laptop over at the house though. looking young fellow he looks like. Yay! I like that. Okay, let's go around the edges with uh, some sandblock. So, I paid 62 cents for this board yesterday. At, um, oops. Might come out pink at Dollar Tree yesterday. You know what I should start selling is some um, um, oh, you know what all the napkin people do? Um, oh, digital downloads. Those would be cute. And they'd all be different. Print that guy out on some rice paper and put him on everything. Cute, cute. That's my project for tonight. Night four, so I can get my algorithm back up. Nothing like being gone for four days, but it's making me make some cute projects. Um, oh, she doesn't make screens anymore? 
Um, I did see um, on the stencil smith, they have some Highland Cow stencils. Huh. Hi, Luann. So, anyway, guys, that's my project for tonight. It would look... Oh, you know what? I forgot about the hole up there. So it's not even with the hole. Now it's off. Janet, you weren't here when I started. So now it looks like I get to cover that hole with some, um, actually, all I'll do is make a scan of this, and then in Photoshop, I'll cover the hole, and then, then I'm good to go. I could do it that way. <laughs> 